Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest's political career path has taken her from grassroots activism to presidential campaigns, and she even worked as a former White House staffer for our forever President Barack Obama. <laughs> no, that's right. right. She's recently released her debut book, Moving Forward. Please welcome author, beautiful, yes, she is. Kareem <laughs> Jean Pierre. Yes. yes. Hello, gorgeous woman. Thank you. Yes to the yellow. <laughs> thank you. How are thank you, you today? Oh, oh my God, you're oh, so thank you beautiful. So much. Thank you for having yes. me. Yes. Thank you. Have oh, a seat man. right I here. I need to come here more often yes. and get some love. All some, the love. Oh my goodness. All the thank love you. is down to the circle. Well, thank we're very you. happy to have you yes, here today. Yes, yes to learn more about you and get more information yeah. on how you've become this amazing woman. So let's start back in your okay. roots, uh, New York's Haitian community. Haitian How did that shape you? Uh, how did your childhood shape you? And then to yeah. kind of catapult into the political scene. Well, it shaped me in every way possible. I think growing up in New York in an immigrant kind of community, I came in as an immigrant, as you mentioned, uh, both my parents were from, from Haiti. There's a lot of, there's a lot of pressure, yes. right? Because I think the thing that people need to remember, when immigrants come to this country, they're looking for that American dream. And for many of them, it's elusive. Mm -hmm. it, it, my, my parents worked check for check to check. My dad was a New York City cab driver. My mom, I'm home, home a healthcare aide. I was the oldest of three. Yeah. So I was like the third parent. And so I grew up very quickly having to be responsible and also the pressures of what it meant to be in that community. My parents yeah. thought uh, success would be one of three things, doctor, lawyer, engineer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they wanted me to be a doctor and that's actually the career path that they wanted. When they found out like years later that I was gonna go into politics, they were afraid. Yeah. They were because they grew up in a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. And so for them, politics meant, are you gonna be like dead on the corner of the street? Like they didn't really get that or understood that until I worked for Obama, mm -hmm. he won, he became the first African-American mm -hmm. president. We went to the White House and that's when she was like, my parents were like, okay, oh, we get it right, now. Right. This is okay. Yes. But that's kind of the trajectory that I had there. Yeah. Well, talk to us about the point in your life yeah. where you were like, you know what? I want to be this activist. I want to be this yeah. change maker. There had to be some pivotal moment where mm. you were like, you know what? I'm getting ready to fight for this. This yeah. is what I want for myself. Yeah, so like I said, my parents were not thrilled about being uh, being a political activist. And even when I, I, I talk a little bit about mental health in my book as yes. well, mm -hmm. yes. because when I didn't be, when I didn't go for being a doctor, it was really tough. I, um, I think it's something that it's so taboo about talking about, especially in our community. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to talk about that. And then so when I got into politics and they got it, they understood, I really wanted to change policy and change legislation and be part of that kind of change-making yes. space. But it hasn't been until the last three, four years that I realized that I wanted to be an activist. Mm -hmm. And it's basically the result of the 2016 November election. Yes. And for me, it, in, it, like, it energized me even more. I was like, okay, I have to step up. Yes. I have to use my platform that I have to really give voice to people who don't have a voice. Mm -hmm. And that's the essence of the book as well. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So why did you decide to even write a book? What was it that yeah. you know you felt like you needed to record? So the last couple of years I thought, man, I have a story to tell. I talked about the mental, the mental health component of my book. And I talk about what it's like being an immigrant. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to write a book about that experience, really kind of correct the record, if you will. Yes. And the last three years, uh, you know, if, you know, black people being attacked, Latinos, oh immigrants, it, if I always say, if you are not white, male, straight, or wealthy, mm. you're under attack. My oh my God. God. It's, I mean, there is Message. a target wow. on your back. Man. And so I thought, I want to write something that kind of reflects who we are as a community um, and just talk about real, real issues, but also to galvanize and excite people because 2020, man, it's Ooh. like our, everything is on the line. Everything it's is right. on the line. You know what, what you just said was so powerful, what you just said and, and the, 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 the classes that you named, mm -hmm. we are the majority. We are the majority. We are the majority. That's right. And what would be your advice, you know, to the majority, to everyone that yeah. you just classed, yeah. that you just put in that, in that in that um, that classification, what would be your advice on galvanizing, yeah. on organizing? How can we do it? I mean, people, we protest, we do different things, yeah. but it, sometimes it doesn't seem to be enough. So for young people and just for people who always feel like that's never enough, yeah. what more can we do? I say this, next year for 2020, we will need a movement to win, yes. period. It's going to take <gasps> a movement to get so us back work. on track. Yeah. 
and that's the thing that I say. I say, okay, to folks, to young, young people in particular, what direction do you want this country to go? Mm -hmm. yeah. What is it that you want? And if you don't get politically involved, it's not going to change. We have to go out, not just vote. Everybody should vote. And that's one of the biggest problems we have in America. Yeah. It's like people just don't come out and vote. Yep. Mm -hmm. You got to vote and you have to galvanize your community, your family, your neighborhood. It is everything is going to ride on November 2020. Yeah. And I just, I'm just kind of like, do you really want four more years of this? Right. Really? How bad, how much worse is it going to get if you think oh we get four more years of this? Right. And it's we just can't. the urgency of now, the urgency of now. Yes. What was it like working for forever? Forever, forever. 44. Forever. He's forever, forever 44. Yes. Forever yes. our president. He was, he was just even keel. He was the, easily the smartest person in the room. Mm -hmm. um, he respected the office that he held. Yes. He was methodical. It was just a pleasure and honor to work for the President of the United States. I was one of the lucky ones that got to go in into the White House, into the administration from the beginning. I was yes. there the first two years. And there was just nothing like this President uh, that we, like President Obama, and uh, I mean, we miss him. We yeah. miss him terribly. We oh, definitely yeah. were missing My him. My goodness, thank yeah. you, but My we God. appreciate you. Thank you for having yes. me. And congratulations thank on thank your you. book. Thank you, yes. thank you. Come back you. anytime. Oh, I'm gonna yes. be tonight, I'm oh, gonna tonight. be at the National His no, yeah, Atlanta Atlanta History, History Center. Center. I've been yes. so many places, 7 p.m. tonight. That's right. <laughs> if you're in the Atlanta area, please make yes, sure you yes, check her yes. out. And please make sure you pick up Moving Forward wherever fine books are sold. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Give it up for Kareen John. Yeah. Come back, Kareen. Oh, yes. I would and love just that. sit with us down to the table, girl, oh, and give I us would, the tea. I would love